The final report of the Science Advisors to the Minnesota Public Utilities Commission, dated July 31, 1998, urged further research into the effects of the low-level voltage hypothesis. Quote, if earth currents induce any kind of physiological response, it must be through the associated step potential across the ground. Little work has been done to document hoof-to-hoof -hoof exposures, yet this is a common exposure pathway in the field. Martin Graham, Professor Emeritus of Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences at the University of California, Berkeley, and Stetzer Electric of Blair, Wisconsin, observed and recorded the reactions of over 6,000 animals in the field in accordance with the protocol set forth in the Minnesota study. Quote, the frequency of behavior such as hoof lifting and kicking during milking have been suggested as measures of cow discomfort during milking. These are likely to be sensitive measures for hoof-to-hoof -hoof voltage exposure. As emphasized in the Minnesota study, Hoof lifting and kicking are accurate measures of cow discomfort and hoof-to-hoof -hoof voltage exposure. Note that the spasms stop when the cows lift their hooves, thereby breaking the circuit. Voltage appears on the graph in blue, frequency in red. Again, note how the muscle spasms correspond to the voltage spikes. Also note the swollen left front knee on this horse. These young calves are also affected. Notice that the spasms on the left front shoulder of the calf correspond to the voltage activity. These cows experience violent reactions to the frequencies exceeding 60 Hz. As we have shown, livestock can be exposed to the electrical activity throughout their lifetimes, regardless of location. The cumulative effects of this exposure can hardly be beneficial. The cow shows a violent reaction during a 625 hertz transient to the point of balancing on two feet. The exact reaction was recorded three times during this milking. New research shows that there is a direct relationship between the number of transients and milk production.
Professor Martin Graham calls this exposure electrical pollution. As he explained to the science advisors to the Minnesota Public Utilities Commission, changes in the characteristics of electrical loads have dramatically increased the amount of neutral current flowing through the ground. Here, the EKG patches are in direct contact with the cow's skin. The graphs show step potential from rear hoof to rear hoof and from front hoof to rear hoof. This shows a cow's reaction after power to the farm had been completely disconnected. Based on the Minnesota study, it is apparent that this cow is experiencing severe discomfort. This exposure also affects people working in these environments, resulting in what Professor Graham calls electrical poisoning. He says more farmers will go bankrupt as a result, and more and more people will suffer. Cows react to a change in voltage as low as 10.4 millivolts peak-to-peak. -peak. This is less than 1% of government and utility standards. <laughs> 